Hello and welcome to another video by me, the Raspberry Pi Guy. Today I'm going to be reviewing one of the most hotly anticipated products in the Raspberry Pi hemisphere, the Picade from Pimeroni. The Picade is a desktop arcade cabinet that will turn your favourite credit card sized PC into a fully fledged retro gaming experience. It began life as the UK's first ever Kickstarter project, and after a couple of years it is now available to buy directly on Pimeroni's website. But how good actually is it at recreating that classic arcade feel? Find out in this review. First, let's take a tour of the Picade. So Pimeroni described the Picade as a stylish, retro and fun arcade cabinet for your Raspberry Pi. And as you can see, this seems very true in the classic design of the cabinet. Everything from the angled shape to the space-themed decals screams the style of yester century. The Picade is a desktop unit and measures 276mm across by 392mm high by 281mm deep. The cabinet is made of black powder-coated ply and feels very premium indeed, whilst the overlays for the screen and controls are laser-cut acrylic. The front is kitted out with an 8-inch 800 by 600 pixel screen that has an aspect ratio of 4-3. The resolution and brightness of the LCD panel are great and perfect for this kind of retro gaming application. The control panel features a proper Zippy brand joystick, which I think recreates that classic arcade feel very well. On the front of the control panel there are six customizable micro switch buttons and another six around the side which provide functions such as volume control and the start button. If you turn the Picade onto either side you'll see that classic arcade cabinet shape as well as slots for two speakers which are driven by an Arduino compatible board that features a 3 watt amplifier. More on that later. Whilst the speakers aren't incredibly loud they are more than good enough and sound quality is crystal clear. The Picade also features a 3.5mm headphone jack so you can plug in a set of earphones or a louder speaker system if you so desire. Going round to the back of the Picade you'll see the same familiar high quality powder coated ply. Note that the Picade only requires one wire to be powered and that is the 5V micro USB power supply to the Raspberry Pi. This is recommended to be around 2 amps though. The back of the cabinet pops open on a nice mechanism and reveals the electronics inside. On the cabinet door you can see the Raspberry Pi mounted by its screw holes. The Picade is compatible with the B+, A+, and Pi 2, however it is recommended that you use the quad-core Pi 2 for that added power for the emulators. Note also that there are two more sets of mounts on the cabinet door for both the BeagleBone Black and also a mini ITX motherboard if you want to use those with the Picade instead of a Pi. On the inside, the first thing you'll notice is the 8-inch LCD panel with its driver board. This draws power directly from one of the Pi's USB ports. Now down on the base of the Picade, Nestled in wires is the Picade PCB. This is also powered by one of the Pi's USB ports and it functions as a really well designed Arduino compatible board that behaves just like a USB keyboard for the joystick and arcade buttons on the cabinet. This allows for really easy control in any game emulators and comes preloaded with Picade software. As I said before, this board also features a 3 watt amplifier for the speakers. If you lean down a little further, you'll see the wiring for the zippy joystick and those 12 buttons. As I mentioned before, the feel of these components is spot on and really adds to the whole retro gaming experience. Now let's boot the Picade up and see how it performs. So at the base of it all, the Picade is still of course a Raspberry Pi, and the recommended distribution of Linux by Pimeroni is the well-known Retro Pi. Essentially this is just a bunch of emulators that can copy the consoles and arcade games of the last 40 years. All you have to do is load them with the right ROMs and away you go playing all your favourite titles from Tetris to Grand Prix. For the classic arcade and old video game systems, such as the Atari 2600, the joystick and buttons are perfect. With some of the more modern emulators, however, such as the N64 one, you of course need a different style of controller than the arcade layout. This is no problem, however, as you have two more USB ports on the Pi to plug in any kind of controller you want. The ethos of the Picade is a hackable product, and it delivers just that. Now, what does it actually retail for? The Picade is supplied in kit form without a Pi, takes around 2-3 to three hours to build, and costs £180 for the full kit. This features everything you've seen in this video, and personally I think that's very good value for money, considering everything you get, from the screen to the speakers. Pimeroni have very cleverly decided to break down the product and sell the different parts separately. For example, you can buy a kit without the screen for £120, or the Picade PCB for £22. All of the options and relevant pieces of information are on Pimeroni's website. There are links in the description below. Overall, I think that the actual gaming experience is very smooth and polished and suitable for all ages. 
the Picade is a very well finished product that brings that retro era of games to everyone and I think that Pimeroni have really delivered something fantastic. And so concludes today's review of the Picade from Pimeroni. I hope that you've enjoyed this video and if you have, don't forget to like, subscribe and share. Stay tuned and until next time, bye! Thank you.